Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Homeland TV which is about Dorico's right mode and more precisely the left panel of the right node which is all about note input. So let's start. When you open Dorico in order to access right mode you can easily use buttons on the left or use the shortcuts control 2 to open right mode. For this video, our focus is on the left panel, which has two major columns in it. The first column holds uh, functions and tools, and the second one has note durations and articulations. If by any chance you didn't see the second column, you can easily press this button here to open up the second column. Now, since our topic is Dorico's write mode and entering notes, we're going to see two different ways of note input in Dorico. The first one is to simply double click on any location in the score, which in turn enables Dorico's input mode. Naturally, every note has a pitch and a duration, right? So after we enter into note input mode, the first thing we can do is to select the duration of the note by numbers on your keyboard or click on the note duration buttons on the left column. As you can see, nothing is changing in our score. That is because Dorico is waiting for us to add the pitch and you can easily do that by locating it in the staff or by pressing the corresponding note name on your keyboard. So, for example, let's say I'll add an E here. There you go. That's the first note. <laughs> and now if you want to add a note somewhere else, you can either use your mouse to go to a different location like this. And then you can click on the staff. Where you want to add the note. Or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, which will move this tiny orange indicator which is called the carrot. And then if you press the note name on your keyboard, you can then enter the corresponding pitch. So for example, I'm going to press the D and it will give me a D note. As you have noticed, uh, whenever we enter into note input mode, this tiny orange grid pops up. And the grid is basically an indicator that would help us with the timing of our notes when we enter them or we want to move them. So for example, now it is a grid with eight uh, notches, which means in a time signature of 4-4, four, four, you have the resolution of an eight note. So you can enter notes with a resolution of eight notes. Now let's try. So as you can see, it just latches onto the next step. Then I can just easily put my notes. See? All right. And if you want to change the resolution, you can easily change it by pressing this button down here. And now if I click on, for example, 16th notes, you will see that the grid is changed. And now you can enter notes within a smaller resolution. Now two important tips. Uh, first one is that you can enter and exit note input mode by pressing the enter button on your keyboard uh, so you press once it goes in and press twice it comes out and you can also use shift n to go into note input and if you press escape now it will come out of uh, the note input mode or any other mode which I will tell you guys in the uh, next videos second tip is that if you highlight a note by clicking on it and use uh, the arrow keys while holding options in Mac or Alt in Windows, you can easily move any notes in any direction. So for example, if I just hold Alt and then use my arrow keys, I can move the note. And if I don't use the Alt, then it will just uh, move within the musical content that I have already in my score. Up until now, when I entered into note input mode, in order to enter notes, I first choose the duration, then the pitch. But we can also have it the other way around. So first pitch, 
than duration. Uh, let's try it out. I will enable note input mode and this time by using my arrow keys. All right. I'm going to click enter. And after that, I will go here. And this is the option that we can turn on. And it will tell Doricode that we want to enter our pitch before duration. If you notice the location where the carrot is, it is now showing a grayed out rest node, which is Dorico's way of telling you that you are in pitch before duration mode. So we now need to select a pitch. For example, I can just select this E here, or let's just say, I'm gonna press this A. And now instead of that uh, rest node, you see that it's just showing an, uh, us an A. That It means that this A is latched on so we wanted to enter a rhythmic value. Now look, when I enter the rhythm, the note will be there. And as long as I press any rhythm, uh, any rhythmic value, this is just going to keep going. And if I change the pitch, it's not going to add the note. Again, we have to add our uh, rhythmic value. So it's up to you if you want the duration to be your base for note input or pitch. It's just about the workflow preference. And we're generally talking about adding pitches, but how about rest notes? Well, Dorico automatically calculates the content of each bar on the fly. And if there's no pitch information, it automatically perceives them as rest notes. That is why when you have empty bars, you see a rest note in all of them. But if you wanted to add rests in between your pitches, there are two ways of doing it. Either is to just select a note by clicking on it and pressing delete on your keyboard like this. Or you can enter note input mode. So I'm going to just double click and then uh, choose uh, this rest here. This will tell Dorico that we don't have any pitches, but we have rest with the timing that we have up here on the keyboard. But then you have to just remember that you need to turn this guy off. This little button here, you need to turn it off, otherwise it's not going to work. Then you can just, let's say I'm going to add this one here, and here, and so on, and so on, all right? But that's just an important thing, that don't forget to turn this guy off when you want to add rest notes because this is the pitch before duration, right? We need just the duration, we don't need the, the pitch. So if you turn on pitch before duration, Dorico is actually waiting for uh, uh, for pitch information, but we don't have any pitch, pitch information to put here. So we just turn it off and then we continue with putting our rest. And of course, in the meantime, you can change it with the uh, keyboard to make it faster. Yeah, pretty cool. And now we're going to check how we can make chords in Dorico. Uh, and check this out. If I enter into note input mode and just add a note here, it will replace it. But if I want to make a chord and I want to stack these notes on top of each other, uh, I can just go here and activate this button or I can press Q. And this will allow me to add uh, notes on top of each other. And finally, a bunch of little things to know is that uh, this button here will let you enable or disable mouse clicks for editing. So make sure it's off when you want to add rest notes or edit things with your mouse clicks. There were many times that I actually forgot that the, the thing is on and I was wondering why uh, why I cannot <laughs> enter any notes, because if I just turn it on, you see, it doesn't work. It doesn't let me, uh, it doesn't even show the note. So it wor it just works as a mouse cursor. So that was the basics for writing a note input mode in Dorico, and I hope that it will be useful for you guys. In the next episode, I will cover different insert modes and a few more features in write mode, and gradually I will cover all of Dorico's aspects. So don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on my latest videos and tutorials about music. Till next time, 
方もいいなって。